Geek Gamer TV presents coverage of the Consumer Electronics Show 2014 from Las Vegas, Nevada. This interview is with Hovercam, makers of 1080p high definition USB 3.0 cameras. Hi, everybody, Chase here at Showstoppers. And one of the things I like to keep an eye on is things that are uh, available or going to soon be available for podcasters and, and those who like to do telecommuting and, and, and talking with people on the internet and having that nice, crisp, clean video. I'm here with Craig from Hovercam. Craig, thank you for talking with me. You're welcome. My pleasure. So this really spotted my eye because this is a USB 3.0 camera. Tell me a little bit about uh, the camera itself first off. Well, like you said, it's a USB 3.0 camera with an 8 megapixel sensor embedded in it. And so that 8 megapixels allows us to produce a 3K image. So HD 1080p at 30 frames a second. So it's a very, very clear image at a very, very fast refresh rate. And so when you think about your audience and how they could use it, they'll get very real lifelike images in their web conferences or in, in their gaming environment as well. Sure. So, so this camera, obviously, high megapixel, high bandwidth. I mean, is this going to be something that's going to possibly bog down your system if you're running it? We don't think so. I mean, for your audience, and they have pretty good computers, it doesn't take up a lot of bandwidth. Um, so we don't think that's going to be an issue with the camera. Um, now, I, I was talking to one of your fellow colleagues about this. What do you think maybe a maximum might be on a system? One camera, two cameras? Oh, no, we think you can have more than two cameras, so, yeah. All right. Now, as far as uh, usability goes, obviously it'll work with your, your software, of course, right? But we'll also plug into other third parties, like Skype, for example. Oh, Skype, definitely, and, and other, other applications. So typically with most of our cameras, they tend to have a twain driver application. Um, so, and using standard video protocols. So, you know, we're open to working with other developers as well. Um, so, you know, to integrate with their, with their software and their, their products. So the 3PO is the small little camera that's up here on the monitor, sits on top. What's this right here next to you? Okay, so this is a solo, a solo document camera. This is basically incorporating the same type of camera technology, if you would, on a stick, but with some software. So what that's allowing us to do is not only to video conference, it's a scanner. So it's a scanner that works with OCR software. It also has applications for presentation. So presentation training and also education. So a lot of schools and universities like to use this type of technology. What are the potential release dates and price points? Um, uh, everything would, should be available in Q2, and the price points is we're looking at everything at about $299, with the exception if you're interested in the Guru Book. Do you want to see the Guru Book? What's the Google Book? Right, let me go get it. It's right by okay. an Android device with a camera embedded in it. Wow, okay. Yeah, no, no so it just pops open like this. And here's so this will beat the snop out of the, any built-in camera and any tablet at this point? Well, not any tablet, our tablet. Oh, your tablet, Google right. Book. Got it, okay. So it's our, it's our product developed by us, Hovercam. And then uh, when you don't need the camera, you just put it away. But it gives you that same ability to use for presentations, for Skype, um, maybe to do a scan. And we see this being used in an education environment, but also um, in an office environment for presentations. Price on this is a little bit more expensive because it's got a high end. Yeah, it's a tablet, of course. Uh, so it is a tablet, um, so it's $599, but we think that's a tremendous value for what it Well, is. not bad for an incredible camera, though. There you go. Well, awesome. For, and if people want to get more information, uh, broadcasters, podcasters, and even teachers and all that, where can they go? www.thehovercam.com. That's thehovercam.com. T H E R T H O V E R C A M.com. Craig, thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you for watching our coverage of CES 2014 from Las Vegas, Nevada. If you'd like to watch more of our coverage, please head over to geekgamer.tv. Thanks for watching and have a great one.